Hello, my postal penguins. It's your boy Zionic Blader, and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, some of the stuff that I've gotten from the uh, postage. But uh, yeah, uh, this is a TV stand, a different area that I'm usually used to. But I'm about to retire this, and I'm just covered in boxes right now because I've moved everything off of this to boxes. But uh, yeah, I guess the, the last thing I use of this will be for a video. So before we get to uh, this giant box over here, I think I'd show you the back gun first. So, uh... So I actually got this stuff from uh, a website called well.ca and uh, they're actually... <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a bit weird, but they're actually a health food store. But for some reason they had back gun. I don't know, distribution's kinda whack. But, uh, yeah, they have, uh... These back gun, I've never been able to find these ones in stores, but they had them in the well.ca. They also gave me a uh, a sample of hazelnut spread from the peanut butter people. I don't know, what is this? Craft uh, ha hazelnut spread. But, got myself a Lupithion because this is Winton's back gun, and uh, yeah, that's about it. I got myself a Scorporos because that's uh, another back gun that was in the show. And then I got myself Pandox because... On top of him being a uh, part of a character from the show, at least in the early part of the show, he's also pretty good in in terms of his evolution. When he evolves, he has an effect where when it opens, treat all of the cores that you have on your side as if as if it belonged to him. So, pretty much you get a giant boost in cores. But yeah, uh, this is the one that I'm most excited for. Uh, this guy has like a like he has a hyper evolution that's like. Uh, if you play a 5 cost card, you get a boost or whatever, but it's not really that good because of sync. And then this guy, I don't know, I don't really know anything about this guy. Other than he's in the show. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, and I finally bit the bullet when it comes to uh, Armored Alliance stuff. And I pretty much got the competitive stuff. We have the Pyrus Hydrus Ultra set. Uh, mainly for the Ventus Dragonoid core, because the Ventus Dragonoid core is pretty good. Um, it rival. It's better than the Ventus Dragonoid core from the... Bat from the Bakugan Bow Plant series, and that was a pretty solid Bakugan, but this guy, his evolution, I think if you have like three cores, then you can play it for free, so that's pretty spicy. And then we got our Chaos Trox Ultra, that's, this guy's like the Power Creep Boys pretty much, the Power Creep Boys 2.0, that's pretty much why I got him, but the main reason why I picked up these two guys was because I needed to get free shipping from Walmart, and that's mainly because, uh, of this. Boxes are falling everywhere. You can't... Ah. Okay, I saved the box. But, uh, this. The Diamond Pegatrix Ultra Starter Set. Or Starter Pack. What is it? I don't know. But it comes with the uh, Darkest Holocore, which this is actually my first, uh, Darkest Holocore. I never got the Battle Planet one. And it also has the Aurelis, uh, Aurelis Feral, which is also, um, the, the background from the new main, the new character of the show, Edget. So, uh, yeah. But, got Diamond Pegatrix Ultra, which is pretty cool. Able to find this on Walmart.ca. I actually found it in person, but because I already had it, I just skipped over it because I already bought this from Walmart. But uh, those are the back gun. Uh, pretty disappointing what happened to him. Um, Pegatrix. Pegatrix was uh, overhyped. Well, not overhyped, but it was hyped up as Mega Pega because when it opens, you get to take all the cores of your opponent. But uh, yeah, the, the problem is that the new Power Creep boys are so strong and uh, having to wait until level, having to wait till you had five energy to evolve was kind of annoying. So it's pretty much been buried since. I guess you can still make some use of it, but it's kind of disappointing because people thought this would be the new meta, but now it's not. But enough about that, the box, what's in the box? More boxes. That That's pretty much it. These are actually, um, these are actually bulk card boxes. So you fit, you can fit like cards in here and yeah that's pretty much it I think these hold like 800 cards I got like five of them so <laughs> uh, that's the end of the video folks sorry I mean I really didn't have much time to scrap up the video together uh, I, I'm too busy cleaning up my room but I thought you guys would like to see this so uh, please don't unsubscribe <laughs>